Skywater, Skywater, Skywater! When it stop? Oh, not for a while, Petrie. The days of rising waters have just started. Meanie me snuggling stick. Now, now, don't worry, kids. We'll be safe here in our nest. for coming, kids. You'll be a big help. I hate to say it, I'm hungry. Mmm. Jump! A ground crawler! <laughs> Aww. All the sky water is making it hard to find food. I'm getting really hungry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the days of rising waters. I do, I do. When is this dumb old sky water gonna stop already? <laughs> Mind those swimmers, Trisha. They're not having as much fun as they seem like they are. Hello, Sarah and Trisha. Today is a great day for swimming. Yes, yes, yes. So why don't you just keep on swimming then? You do not want to join us? Playing in Skywater Puddles is oh so much fun. <laughs> well, Trisha and I are having just as much fun right here. Thank you very much. You do not look like you are having fun. What do you mean? I'm sure we are. Tag, you're it, Trisha. <laughs> hey, Trisha! No! <laughs> Come back! Well, at least we have some of our home left. 
It's not much, but a good start. Petrie, what are you doing? Me put nest back together. The ledge can't hold our nest anymore, Petrie. But that our home. It's not safe. We cover it to keep water out. The days of rising waters won't be over for a while. If we stayed here, we'd have to rebuild our nest over and over again. Oh. I'm sorry, kids, but I'm afraid we have to move. Okay. Okay. Move! What are you doing? My sister can't swim. <laughs> she does not have to swim in the water. She can stand in the water. <laughs> Trisha, come out of there right now. The days of rising waters can be really dangerous for young ones like Trisha. <laughs> but Trisha wants to go back in. What will we do? <laughs> Not we. I. I am going to teach Trisha to swim. You? But three horns are not the best to swimmers, Sarah. <laughs> three horns can do anything. to move. Me love our home. I know, Petrie. I love our home, too. But we need to find a new home. A safer home. But new home won't be our home. It'll be okay, Petrie. When me and Ruby first moved to the secret caverns, I thought they were dark and cold and really scary. But... It turned out to be a great place to live. I love my new home. Well, me love me old home. Me no want new home. Me love me old nest. It not fair. Sky water wash it away. Me make new nest right here. Me stay. You've got to go. It's not safe to live here. You must know. Bye-bye, old home. Bye-bye, old friends. Petrie, just because you're leaving your old home doesn't mean you're leaving your friends, too. Yes, in fact, we're going to help you move. Really? Okay, then. We have a nest to move. Hey, Trisha, take your front feet and paddle, like this. Oh, do not forget her back feet. Her back feet are very... I'm getting to that. <laughs> Trisha, that's enough. Now paddle your back feet, like this. Hmm. <laughs> the back feet 
should not be paddling. They should be kicking. <sighs> All right, Ducky. Since you know so much about swimming, why don't you teach her? But swimmers do not teach each other how to swim. We just swim. Well, three horns don't. But thanks to you, baby Trisha wants to be a swimmer. <laughs> <laughs> that is not such a bad thing. It is if she can't swim. And if something happens to her during the days of rising waters, it'll be all your fault. Oh, no. I would not want anything bad to happen to Trisha. No, no, no. Good. Then just teach Trisha how to swim. <gasps> Now! I will try. under those tree branches. Those branches aren't thick enough to shelter us, Petrie. But uh, what if we never find a new home that's right for us? We will. <laughs> okay, first move your arms, oh, well, your legs, in circles like this. <laughs> Now move your, uh, um, uh, other legs, like this. <laughs> that is a good start. Now we will try it in water. Oh, that's great, Ducky. You've taught Trisha to make a bigger splash. <laughs> it is a start. <laughs> Whew. Me, sure glad you find us a place to rest. It's more than a place to rest, Petrie. This is our new home. New home? This no look like home to me. It will, after we build our nest. for helping us with our big move, kids. That's what friends are for. Hmm. Still no look like home. But look, Petrie, we've got lots of stuff from your old nest. And we're on a rocky ledge, just like your old nest. And there's lots of nice views from here, just like there were from your old home. Hmm. Maybe. Okay, me make new nest look like old nest. This stick go here, this stick go there, this stick go half here and half there, right next to me snuggling stick. <gasps> Where me snuggling stick? We may have lost it on our way up the hill. Lost it? Oh, me can't lost it. Me, me had snuggling stick since me come to Great Valley. Me no sleep without it. Me go find it! Petrie, no! <laughs> the 
This area is too dangerous, and you're too little. I'll go look for it. had to eat through a lot of mud to rescue me. Mm. It's all right. The mud's yucky. But there's some delicious ground crawlers in it. Mm. Ew! You may be gross, Chomper, but you are hero. Thanks for saving our mom, Chomper. Yeah! Thanks! <sighs> what can we say? We know how to pick great friends. How can you call yourself a swimmer if you can't teach Trisha to swim? I am sorry, Sarah, but I think learning to swim takes time and patience, especially for a three-horn. Well, we're out of time, and I'm out of patience. <gasps> Trisha? Oh, no, where'd she go? <laughs> Trisha learned how to swim. I did teach her. I did. I did. Okay, fine. You did a good job. Thank you, Sarah. Now Trisha is an even better swimmer than you are. Better than me? <laughs> I don't think so. Watch this. <laughs> Is not saying much. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> hey, the sky water stopped. And look, the bright circle is coming out. You know, me not miss old nest no more. Cause everything me love about old home, here in new home. Me feel so happy, me want everyone to see. Me like the bright circle, all shiny inside of me. It be hard day, me say goodbye to old nest. Me even lose, me snuggly stick. But now me know Worth more than stick or old nest Is that me mom and family say Me feel so happy Me want everyone to see It like the bright circle All shiny inside of me Me feel so happy Me want everyone to see It's like the bright circle sleep tonight, even without snuggling stick. I'm sorry I couldn't save it for you, Petrie. Oh! That reminds me! <gasps> me snuggling stick! I found it when I was digging down there. Oh! Wow! Thanks, Chomper. <laughs> now me real feel at home. Mr. Threehorn? Want me to help pull it out for you? Huh. You think those little arms would do a better job than my horn? Ha! Not likely. My arms aren't little. Everyone said my arms are little. Hmm, maybe. But hands are handier than horns, if you ask me. Watch. Horns might be good for some things, but not for everything. Yeah! My turn! Looks like my dad's right. Your little arms aren't good for much, are they? Oh, yes, they are. Watch this. All I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn 
Jesus, come follow me. Hills to climb and valleys to roam. Oh, streams to follow on our way home. To the land before time. Shakes, but I'm sure your little arms couldn't start one. My arms aren't little. Come on, you guys. Let's make sure nobody's hurt. Earth shake not so bad. Only a few rocks and trees fall down. I am just glad the earth shake did not hurt anyone. I am, I am. Huh? Hey. Look at that! The watering place is full of, of nothing. No water here. Nope, nope, nope. No wonder the pond's empty. The fast water has dried up too. If you ask me, I think the earth shake made the water go away. The big pond going dry is bad for everyone. Right. Please, please. Calm down, everyone. This is not as bad as the time all the water dried up. We still have other water besides the big pond. There may be hardships but we've overcome bigger challenges. Can I say something, Grandpa? Well, of course, Littlefoot. Everyone is welcome to speak here. First there was an earth shake, and then the big pond dried up. What if the earth shake made the water disappear? The water is gone now. What does it matter? Because if the earth shake did make the water go away, maybe we can do something to get it back again. Or maybe not. Someday, Littlefoot, you'll learn the difference between what you can change and what you can't. Yes. Everyone seems to agree with you, Mr. Threehorn. So, for now, we'll just make the most of the water we still have. Spread the word. Don't take water for granted. And remember, it's important that we all work together. I still think we should do something. Like what? Well, we could follow where the fast water used to flow and see what could be done. How about it? I will go. Yup, yup, yup. <laughs> Me go too. I'll go with my arms that aren't little. The fast water had to come from somewhere, so we might as well see where that somewhere is. All right, let's go already. It is very strange to be here without the fast water. It is, it... Ah! Hey! Somebody help! <gasps> Too short. <sighs> Here, I'll do it. Oh, thank you, little foot. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for trying, Chomper. <laughs> so this is where our water went. All those rocks and trees are blocking the fast water. You think the earth shake shook down all those rocks and trees? Yep, and we'll need to clear them away to get the fast water flowing again. 
Well, that's easy. We can smash it down. I don't know, Sarah. We don't even know how deep the water is. Well, I am a swimmer. I can go under the water and look. Good idea, Ducky. But be careful. <laughs> Swimming thing that isn't ducky. Is that a. Is that a. Sharply teeth swimming sharp tooth? I can't tell. of Littlefoot is a mud brother of mine. So how did you get here from the big water, Mo? Mo see new land water and hoped it would lead to mud brothers. So Mo swam up it, and then Mo find you. <laughs> oh dear, the fast water must be backed up all the way to the big water. Walker friends need water. More help. See that big pile of stuff? It's blocking the fast water. Yeah, but once we smash it, whoosh, all the water will run down into the valley. Whoosh. Mo not like that. Mo's right. If all the water goes away at once, he'll be trapped in the Great Valley. So will other big water swimmers. Then what are we gonna do? We have to clear just enough stuff to get the water flowing slowly. Then Mo will have enough time to get back to the big water. <laughs> little foot smart. Those little arms of yours ready to work, Chomper? Yes, they are.
I'm gonna need some help. Don't you want my help? Chomper, I'm not so sure this job is for you. I know, I know, my arms are too little. Okay, come on, Chomper. We can do this together. <laughs> Littlefoot needs somebody strong, like me. Come on, we can do it! Chomper! <laughs> More help! Me too! Talk that way. Stay here and rest till you feel better. Something? Spike, this is no time for a drink. No! Spike wants us to look at something. <laughs> so there's water coming out of the log. So what? <laughs> I do, I do! Spike is saying the water dripping out of the log is coming from the other side. <laughs> oh, so we can use the log to make the water come out slowly. <laughs> I'll say it's slow. The water's just trickling out. I think there's a rock inside the log that's blocking the water. Can you reach it, Ruby? Huh? The only way I'll know if I can is if I try. Uh, uh, uh. You can reach it, Ruby. Your arms are the biggest and longestest. Hey, Ruby! I see the rock that's blocking up the log. I see it too. Ugh, but my arms aren't long enough to reach it. But you could reach it from here. Uh, maybe I could reach it if I could reach in there, but that hole's too small for my big arm to fit. Well, my arm can fit. Uh, we better get off the barrier. It doesn't seem too stable. Hold on, I think I can reach it. Uh, uh, 
Must go. You're right, Mo. We have to go too. We're going to miss you. Oh, do not be sad, little foot. Remember, we had much fun today. Remembering, remembering is a kind of a helpful thing to hold on to. won't go away times will always hold dear remembering makes reappear so if you're ever feeling sad we'll always have remembering remembering go home too. Come on. <laughs> Tonight is a night for celebration. The fast water has returned and we have these young ones to thank. <laughs> Chomper who really helped. Without his arms, we never would have gotten the job done. The young ones have set a fine example. It's a lesson we could all learn. <laughs> well, uh, it's like I always say, if you want things to get better, uh, you better get going. <laughs> Hey, everybody! Look what we have! Tree stars! We pick them using our hands. <laughs> They're so handy. Oh, hey! All I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Come fall on me. Hills to climb and valleys to roam. Oh, streams to follow our way home. To the land before time. Hold still! 
Guido! What are you doing in there? Uh, I was just hiding, you know, until the wind settled down. Hi, Guido. Remember me and Ruby? We met you the last time you babysat Trisha. Chomper, the friendly sharp tooth. <laughs> How could I forget? <laughs> You're still friendly, right? Yep. You still learning to fly? Oh, that. Well, <laughs> being a glider, it is kind of hard to get off the ground without a, a little help. Maybe big blowy wind give you lots of help. See, like... Whoa, 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 whoa. But uh, it's really blowy. It'll be okay, Guido. Petrie will help you. Me will. Oh, oh, yes, me will. Well, I really would like to fly. Should have stayed in my stump. You can do it, you good glider. Well, that's really nice of you to say, but and whoa, 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 wings! whoa, 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 now, follow me. Follow, he says. It getting too blowy. We done now. Oh, yeah, but I want to... Hey, wait! Oh, come on, Petrie, let's do it again. I've got a twisting turn one more time. Oh, come on, Petrie, please, 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 please. <laughs> mm -mm, no, too blowy now. We fly tomorrow. <gasps> tomorrow? But my wings are all warmed up now. No, not safe. I thought blowy was good. You see? It's okay! First, I swoop! Uh, oh, boy. Oh, boy! Whoa! Whoa! What is he doing? Why is he going up so high? Hey, wind! Stop! Whoa! Help! Oh, me better help.
Inside Black Rock. <gasps> Black Rock? Oh, that's not good. I know. Mind helping me up? Ugh. Okay. Ow, 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 ow. Ooh. Ooh, I must have landed funny on my foot. Yes, I. Oh, ow. Oh, oh. <laughs> and Mino can fly. Yeah, but at least you can walk. <laughs> See if you can find a way out of here, all right? Uh, okay. Oh, too steep. No climb here. <laughs> Petri! I saw something move. Over there. See anything? It, it, too dark. And I'm afraid of the dark. I'm afraid of caves, but most of all, I'm afraid of being afraid. Guido, you're more scared than me. Don't be, don't be scared. Don't be, don't be scared. It's easier to say than do, but singing helped me know it true. Then I will try to sing with you and not be scared. Oh, it's awfully dark way down here in the black rock. It's very black rock. Maybe it's not so bad if we find an easy way out. Hey, let's just find any way out, okay? Do, 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 don't be, don't be scared. Don't be, don't be scared. Pretend that you'll be brave and strong. You know the tune, so sing along. Hope I don't end up being wrong. Not being scared. <laughs> being scared. Petri, I gotta admit, I'm not as scared as I was. Now I'm more scared! <laughs> it's all this stupid wind's fault. I just hope they find Petri and Greedo soon. Oh, oh, I can't look. What's there? Tell me. If it's too scary, don't tell me. Plant. Well, at least you won't starve. Oh, crawlers! You eat too. You feel better. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, uh, not bad for cave crawlies. Ah, uh, Petri. <laughs> oh, sorry, Phyllis. My manners ain't what they used to be. I don't get many visitors around here. The name is Swooper. Now, I've lived here for a long, long time, but uh, it ain't so bad, you see. I'm not alone. This here is Cliff. The tall one over yonder goes by Slim, and then the good looker in the corner, why, that's Andy. He has been here a long time. <laughs> Why you stay so long? Why? Well, because I'm blind. Oh no! They didn't find them! 
Audrey's mom looks so tired. <laughs> we can't just sit here. We gotta do something to help. I hate feeling so helpless. <laughs> Say, maybe we can't help Petrie and Guido, but we can help the helpers. You blind? How you get around? Ooh, and that's simple. I memorized every last bit of this place. Between hearing and smelling, why I can figure out exactly where you fellas get to. <laughs> that's also how I could tell you were eating my ground stars. <laughs> Back home in Great Valley, there's so much food. Everybody friends, everybody happy. The Great Valley, hmm. Why, that sounds like the kind of home I've always dreamed about. Cause I, I could never get there. That trip's too risky for a blind old flyer like me. Oh, me wish we'd take you there. Oh, oh but me still no can fly. Guido still hurt and you no see. Oh, we never get back to Great Valley. Yep, 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 yep. If we tried to walk there, a sharp tooth would get us for sure. You know, there might be a way. What if you fly while Petri and I ride on your back? We could be your eyes. Ooh, I don't know. It sounds risky. Mighty risky. I'd have to think long and hard before I'd give that a try. Well, I've made up my mind. I'm sure gonna miss you two. I'm heading for the Great Valley with my new friends. <gasps> if you're ever out that way, I'll stop by and visit, you hear? If you ask me, home that way. Well, let's get a going. Hop on. Swooper, uh, when exactly was the last time you flew? Oh, let me see now. It was so long ago. Okay, maybe on second thought. We yeah! <laughs> Here we go! to flying again, you know. <laughs> now, which way? Oh, oh, well, uh, okay, uh, point your beak a little left. Oh, 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 wait! Uh, yeah, okay, that's good. That's the fastest way in the valley. No, 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 still too blowy. Fly around, go right, left, right, left, right, left, right! Oh, fellas, if we're gonna get anywhere, we gotta work together. Okay, Swooper's right. You've flown more, Petri. You decide which way. Uh, Guido helped, too. Uh, use your wings. Feel for change in wind. I can do that. Oh, that's better. Especially since I can only go in one direction. <laughs> We 
brought you some tree stars. We gathered enough for all the flyers. We wanted to help. Thank you all very much. I haven't had much time for food since... Oh, do not be sad. Petrie will come home. He will. He will. I know, little one. They'll both be home just as soon as the wind stops and we can go find them. I just hope they're safe. I haven't flown this long in ages. What shall we land so as I can take a load off? <laughs> Me no think so. Oh, then we got a problem. I'm not sure how long I can keep going. Well, then Petrie fly. Make easy for Swooper. You're not ready to fly, Petrie. I guess I'll have to glide for a while. You... you sure? Well, one of us has to get off Swooper's back, and this trip was my idea. <laughs> you can do it, you good glider. You're right. I can do this! <laughs> hey, hey, this isn't so bad! I'm gonna check things out up higher! Hey, Swooper! Petrie! Come on up here! The wind's blowing toward the Great Valley! You can rest your wings! These old bones good to soar again. We'll be getting to your valley in no time. Oh, 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 me hope so. It's true. They've been spotted. They've come back to us. <laughs> Swooper! We're home! And we never would have made it without you, Guido! You're hurt. A little. Uh, maybe okay. This Swooper, he flew me home. Thank you so much, Swooper. Glad to do it, ma'am. But the whole idea was Guido's, and he found the wind that helped us get here. We never make it home without wind. Oh, thank you, Guido. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Everyone, let's give Petrie, Guido, and their new, I mean, our new friend, Swooper, a big welcome home. It's good to be home, all thanks to our new friend. We finally safe now, our journey is at an end. Take it, Petrie! Okay.
I like the sound of that. <laughs>